Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to show you guys why it's so important to have a portable power station on your RV. I'm driving out of town and I just stopped. We just stopped to get something to eat real quick. You can see we're in the middle of nowhere. Just stopped, pulled over to the side of the road and I have my AC running inside the RV. And you can see right here, I have the mango power portable power station it's at 97 percent the solar is pulling right around 407 grid is pulling 1300 so i have the ac running the battery charger but i can do this at the side of the road see the highway right there and no noise especially if it was nighttime I don't want to run my generator. I don't want anyone to know I'm in there just resting. On the side of the road, you have your portable power station, you can do that. So that's a very, very good idea. If you guys drive and you just want to stop for like an hour or two, I can run my AC inside the RV and I don't have to run my generator. And I can do it off my solar power. I'm gonna climb up. So that's the top of the RV. You can see that the uh, AC is running right here, but I have my red AC running. And you can see my 660 watts solar panel back there. AC is running. There it is. I'll be able to do this for up to two hours and 10 minutes. Just enough time for me to rest and hit the road. Get something to eat and have the AC inside the RV running. So if you guys wanna check one of these out, it is on my website, gavinsgarage.com. You can go there, you can get you one of these. I have my solar hooked up to it. It's connected right here to my RV inlet. So I can run for two and a half hours the AC is going to go off, that time is going to increase, so no worries. So at the same time, I have my AC, my refrigerator inside. I also have this slide out refrigerator also running. All that is running off the portable power station. So I got, we'll get some food and I'll just put it in here instead of putting it on the inside. This is where I put my uh, water and so when I'm outside the RV, I don't have to go inside. We can just grab water and stuff from here. Slide it back in, it locks in place. So you have all that power, no generator running. And you could chill outside. turn the TV on so especially if you go somewhere and it's at night or you just don't want to have your generator running creating noise and disturbing you know people you could have one of these it works perfect so there you have it guys everything running let's show you the see where we at now it's about Still pulling 400 and uh, 390, 412 fluctuates. Now I'm pulling 1,400, and I'll be able to do that for one hour and 55 minutes at 90%. By the time I'm done eating, rested, I'll head out. It will start charging off solar, and then I can turn my generator on and recharge it. So the next time I stop, I'm back at 100%. Guys, it's real easy using gas and your portable station at the same time. People like to put them against each other. Use what you have. Use your gas when you can. Use the battery power or solar power when you can. This works great when you're in a quiet spot. The generator, you can run it when you're not disturbing anyone. Okay, guys, it's been over an hour and a half. All right. And it still said I have an hour and 13 minutes left. We're at 
RVs down to probably 79 degrees and we're still pulling 455 watts off of solar and 1,400 pulling from the uh, total power station. All while I'm stopped eating lunch at the side of the road. I still have another hour before this thing shuts off and that is exactly why I love having one of these on board. All right guys, I'm back. I'm down to 34% and it's been two hours. It still says it has 42 minutes left. I'm pulling in right now about 553 watts from the solar and 1,439 AC load, 34%. Gotta love these things that you can get almost three hours with uh, just solar power being stored from driving and when you once you pull over you just use your power and you're saved. Mango power. Alright guys, just a quick video showing you how I stop when I pull over the side of the road just to eat something or take a quick rest. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And as usual, if you like this product, you can get it on gavinsgarage.com. I'll put the link down in the description for you. Thanks and have a nice day. Enjoy.